we are first going to hear from uh, Happy Feet Fitness, and that's Marie and Rhiannon. There they are, and they're great. <laughs> Love them with their little green logo. Thank you so much. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over to Marie and Rhiannon. I know you're on two different screens, so you'll have to share between each other. But if you want to explain a little bit about what you're doing and how you've been maintaining engagement during these um, lockdown periods, over to you. Hi, so I'm um, Rhiannon. Um, I apologise if there's any interruptions, but I've got two small children and a dog, so it, anything could happen. Um, yeah, basically, um, Charlotte, shh. basically, uh, at the start of the first lockdown, we went into a massive panic. Hang on one second. And we... And we, um, it's funny for everybody else, I'll put it for me. Uh, we thought, like, okay, what is the best way that we can keep all of our members engaged? We know that they're not going to be able to um, actually physically run with us in the group, so we're a, a running group um, and a walking group. But what we can do is we can try and captivate them, come up with things to keep them motivated, so that when we can return, we are, like, ready to go. And the things that we've done are proof work because as soon as we came back to being able to offer groups, we were um, fully booked. So we had to have a booking system, um, which was a challenge in itself. But we still tried to keep our members motivated. So the first thing I thought I'd just touch on is about um, communication. So we thought it was really important to communicate with our members so marie was responsible for a weekly newsletter in that weekly newsletter we tried to include a blog um, and we asked our members to get involved in that so we asked them to write a guest blog so the first couple came from us and then um we had some fantastic blogs some really good writers within our group that we just didn't, didn't know wouldn't have asked and we just asked for volunteers and everybody came through and it was absolutely fantastic um, we also have a Facebook group, so we've got our advertising page, Happy Feet Fitness, where we put all our new courses, all our details for the wider public, but we had a closed group for our members. And we made sure that we kept really active in that group and we encouraged other people to get active. So we sort of stressed the point that if you're feeling a little bit lonely or you've done a run and you feel really proud of it, then you need to be sharing that with us. Um, I know it's, it's tough for some people, but what we find effective is using live videos so people can still see us. We, we were still there. Um, they could see some days we'd be like, oh God, we're so fed up. And some days we'd be absolutely buzzing because we'd been out for a run. We'd had some great feedback. Um, so we then decided to come up with a couple of sort of themes and it was really hard to keep content fresh it's it's you know you keep posting the same things so we came up with this um day called challenge challenge tuesday so on a tuesday we asked all of our runners and walkers to go out and do a run or a walk and log their distance and then report back to us that was really really good for the group we got so many posts it was absolutely amazing i think in the first challenge tuesday we did something mm -hmm. like um for uh, 300 kilometers and i think our most that we did on a challenge tuesday was what was it maria about a thousand yeah it was over a thousand uh, oh. kilometers there's a lot yeah. of adding up <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that was um so it was like our, our members getting involved but also their family getting involved because obviously they were in, within that bubble so it was their family members um and friends and it was absolutely fantastic people really look forward it was almost like a little mini christmas day once a week we were like it's tuesday and we knew no matter what it was going to be a positive day full of like exciting news and seeing people's faces and people who wouldn't normally post posted and people who don't like putting pictures in put a picture in and, and that was really good and everyone um, started to get to know each other and we um, um just on that challenge Tuesday, we, we sort of made it real in terms of how far we'd got. 
so we started off going up down the country and then we were doing so many kilometers that we were going across the sea and so people were really engaged with that and asking oh i wonder if we'll do enough kilometers to get to this place or that place and that was really good getting their input as well as soon as we um, went back into this lockdown um, because once we started back at running it didn't work we thought we might keep challenge tuesday but it just didn't work it just didn't feel right so we we did we finished on a high so to speak and the first thing once boris announced that we were needed to to shop, stop was people saying well we have challenge tuesday back they look forward to that again because so obviously within your own clubs you need to um you would need to come up with your own ideas but it's good to try and get something to, to, to get people engaged with um, another thing that we did um, which seemed to be really quite successful is we offered some um, free zoom sessions so I'm a qualified personal trainer I went on and we did two classes a week and a stretch class um, and I just I just taught exercise classes to, to anybody that wanted to come anybody from happy feet just to maintain their fitness um, it didn't cost anything because what all we were thinking about was what we want to do is pe keep those people engaged so as soon as we're open, they're back. Um, so we did like a strength and conditioning session and then on a Thursday night we'd have a disco. So I, would, I just put music on. Nobody could hear what I was saying because I didn't really know how to use Zoom. So I didn't know you could play music through Zoom. So I just play my music really loud and be dancing around my kitchen and then everyone would just be like, and what I was doing and it was it was just a laugh everybody did, you know it was just about having a laugh with people that you like to have a laugh with it sounds great Rhiannon did you did you notice that you did keep a lot of members at the end of when, when sort of lockdown one eased off a bit did you find that your members stayed with you maybe Marie you're, maybe you can answer that question um yes yes we did um as the, as the news was starting to trickle out that things might be easing, people were straight on, when are we starting? How are you going to manage it? How many people can run? You know, they were asking us all the questions that we had no answers to. Um, obviously having to wait for the national guidance to come out. Um, but straight away, um, we thought that we would offer just a few runs a week, but we were completely um, overwhelmed really with, with people. Um, it's been a bit of a logistical nightmare for us because uh, we're um, a multi-paced group so we had to make sure that our groups were balanced so we have some slow runners some faster and um, so we've actually um, we've had to allocate the spaces ourselves instead of having an open booking system but yes we and we're always getting people if a group's full can I be on the waiting list so we've really although our numbers are reduced because we can obviously only run as many groups as we've got leaders for mm -hmm. we've we've just gone straight back into it really it was we were you know relieved and thrilled super so i i i love that um you have had to do some but sort of adaption behind the scenes to make sure that everyone can still take part um that, that's relevant to them the kind of yes. the the face to face meeting up doesn't necessarily always transfer online so that's a really good um, nod to that how you were saying how you you roughly know people's paces so you've shuffled them around a little bit and um, what would be your one or two tips that you would recommend to other people on the session tonight Marie um, I think really it is the communication it's looking at how you get your information out there we have quite a lot of people on our Facebook group but we have people who don't do technology really apart from email so it's making sure that they feel included as well um, we we did wonder whether we would lose maybe some of those people um, but they were just happy to be um, included because usually they're not um, not 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 included by us but often people will say well, if you if you want to know come on Facebook and if you're not on it that's hard luck um, what do you think Rihanna what's your other tip um that was it really that was my two main things is just really like just you, people buy into you and like your club because you because of you and the characters that you've got there so just just show that just keep being you and sometimes you know so if it's hard sometimes just be positive and just really just think it's going to be okay and we can't wait to see you that's what we get we can't wait to see you hopefully it won't be long 
and it was sort of created a little buzz and everyone just yeah it's been brilliant and That's actually great. just just sort of that triggered and it was the um the live stuff because when we started back running several people said oh you're not doing the lives anymore because we didn't think we needed to because we were seeing them but that was important as well it's really adapted and changed our our group as a whole really there's things that we've learned through lockdown that we will continue to do to engage with our members regardless of whether we're locked in or not but that's that's great to hear i think um i was talking to a coach over the past couple of days and they were talking about how exactly exactly what you're saying that they've now had they've broadened what they do now because of the kind of the adaptions they've had to make and that there's a realization within their club that by continuing to offer that they're actually will slightly widen their membership base as well um but also it's a, it's a good reminder that not everyone even if we have a lockdown uh, sorry if lockdowns eases over the next couple of weeks there'll still be some people who won't want to come out maybe they're in a vulnerable category etc so for them the restrictions whether they impose them themselves or might be um, their health professionals are recommending them to sort of <laughs> stay a little bit more sheltered and um, make 